All right, hold everything, PC2, PC2. God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome. What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? Well, you see what I'm dealing with all the time? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing today? Hey, God bless you. We're getting uh, calls about you out here with the, uh, the noise, all right? There is no noise. I know, but I, we drove past you earlier. Right. Right. Okay. Right. But you didn't receive a complaint, right? No, we didn't receive a complaint. So what oh. did you call? When you drove by, you didn't receive no. a complaint. We okay. received the complaint just now. That's why we're here now. Okay. Okay. So we need you to either turn it off for the night or go somewhere else, all right? It's already off. Okay, that's fine. And I'm just passing out tracks. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, um, let me give you some information real quick. You live for Christ, right? Hey, man, praise the Lord. Would you like one, ma'am? Yeah, why not? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, just let you know, if you put it back on, they're going to call again. All right? No problem, sir. Have a good night. You too. There's certain pillars that you gotta abide by, you know, this one. The five pillars. Five pillars, exactly. And can you recite those five pillars? Yeah. Where are they? Prayers. Five prayers. Uh, fast. Zakat, which is, uh, you know, uh, you know, donating money uh, to the poor. Yeah, it's like around like 2% or something like that. Year, oh, 4% yearly, right? Or something yeah, like that? Yeah, just about. And then you go to Mecca. The Hajj. Uh-huh. The Hajj to Mecca. Yeah, it's like once a year or once. Once, a, once in your lifetime if you could afford it. Yeah. You know. And uh, the fifth one is... So prayers, Zakat. Uh, Can I give you a track? Some yeah, information? Yeah, there sure. You go. Prayers, Zakat. Ramadan. 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 Yeah, it's like a holiday, right? Hey, it's just passed. We just we just finished with Ramadan recently. Are you are you comfortable in Islam? Were you born into it? Yeah, but but I wasn't practicing before, but now I practice. What convinced you to practice it? I I, I looked uh, I looked into just different things and spoke to different people as I got older. Uh huh. Looked at my life, how I lived my life. Yeah, I'm I mean, to me, to me, no, I was just looking, letting this thing pass. Yeah. To me, to me, is the, the absolute truth. It makes sense. There's no discrepancies. There's no, uh, you know, we don't have different testament. The way the Quran was written, you know, when it was revealed, uh -huh. it's the same way. So the, the word remains the same. It hasn't been, hasn't been changed. Um, now, when you say it hasn't been changed, yeah, the, yeah. the, the translations were not changed. So the Quran the word, was... The revelation, the way it was revealed, uh -huh. it was never changed. It was revealed, it's the same way. So, I mean, this translation is between, you know, Arabic or uh -huh. French and, you know, uh, different languages. But, you know, it, it, the, the meaning remains the same. And it, it hasn't been altered. You know, or, you know, other textbooks, other holy books, you know, um, have been you know have been touched by uh you know kings and different things so you know to, to me to me islam makes sense it makes, it makes sense in my life and it, it works for me yeah. have you ever had a relationship with allah i do I has do he ever right spoken now. to you has he ever had a personal one-on-one -on -one with you all the time what does he say it gives me guidance guidance now, you read the Quran every single day, right? Not every single day. I read it, but not every single day. And when you read it, what does it tell you to do? Does it tell you what's going to happen in the future? Does the Quran ever tell you what's going to happen in the future? His predictions, but... Uh, Have they come true? A lot of them did so far. Tell me one prediction. Just asking questions here. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I'm not, I don't feel threatened or anything by your questions. Uh, but for example, uh, there was, there's a, uh, no, nah, that's a hadith, because I was going to say, 
this hadith has been um, it's like narrations uh -huh. by the prophet you know may peace may rest in peace that's this that came through muhammad right yeah, muhammad, the prophet. yeah, yeah. So is he the only prophet in 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 uh the quran yeah no so it's, surah it's, is the last and prophet. all of them are all names of prophets excuse me surah the, the, there's a there's a book uh -huh. within the quran called surah and there's different sets of no, Muslims. The, the surahs are the, 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 chapters. the chapters. The chapters. Okay, chapters. so when I say surah, I'm saying chapters. Chapters, exactly. Okay, so there is the Shiites. Yeah. There's different sets of Muslims. Yeah, but, but they I, all I gr agree on the same Yeah, but I, I don't, to be honest with you, I, I don't really make differences. I know they, they are Shiites because it's just a matter of uh, when the Prophet, may rest in peace, passed away, they just wanted to follow uh, different leaders, uh -huh. but they still like it's still the same. They still, you know, follow the Quran and, and believe in one God, and you know, it's not a different religion. It's just that they wanted to follow a different uh, yeah. spiritual God. Hold on for a second. Like uh, Romans come back around checking on me to see if I turned on the speaker or not. They're on uh, PC nine two. So you guys just see Jesus as just a prophet, correct? He's a prophet, yeah. Nothing more. No, it's not. It's not. It's not a god. Now, what proof do you have that he's not God? What proof do you have that he's a god? Did he, he ever say that in the Bible? That yes, he, he did. That he, which verse and which which uh, passage? All right, I'll show you. <laughs> Jesus claimed to be God. Take for example the words of Jesus in John ten thirty in the book of John in the Bible ten thirty. He says, it, "I." It's, it's the Old Testament or the New? The Testament? New Testament. The New Testament. The New Testament. Because I know the Quran is, yeah, sure. I know the Quran references the Holy Book. But the New, the New Testament, it, it, it. What you guys call the Gospels again? I forgot what it was. In Jill. In Jill. Yes. But, but, yes. But the thing is, the the, the New Testament is, is not. The New Testament has discrepancies. It's not. It's not an accurate uh, representation of the Bible, though. It's if been, you say it's that, been, it's been altered. I mean. If you say that the New Testament is not accurate, you're saying that God is a liar. I never said, now, why I would never I said these words? But you are. I never said these words, man. You want to know how? I never said these words. You just put words in my mouth. No, 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 no. Listen, that. if yeah. you say that the New Testament is inaccurate, you're calling God a liar. I never said how? He was a liar. No, you don't have to say, God, okay. you're a liar. Okay. But when you say that it's inaccurate, you're calling God a liar because God spoke to the men to write the New Testament. Paul wrote letters to churches. In fact, in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20, it says that this word is of no private interpretation. No, it did not come by the will of man. Paul. Paul was an apostle, right? Yes, he was an apostle. So he wasn't a prophet. Well, the apostle and prophet offices, the apostle office is ceased. That's number one. The prophet office is still open. It's still active. Because the Bible says that God said he will pour out his spirit and women will uh, dream dreams and uh, people will have visions. He will pour out his spirit upon all people. So let me show you this real quick. Go ahead. John 10 30 says, I and the Father are one. Okay. What does that tell you? Doesn't mean that he's, he's, he said he's, he's God. Now, what was the reaction of the Jews when he said that? The reaction of the Jews, it says here, his statement to know he was claiming to be God. It's an interpretation. You see, I can tell you that I'm thirsty, but I don't have to say the word I'm thirsty. I can look sweaty, and you would different. know that I'm yeah, thirsty. It's but it's, I think it's, it's interpretation more than um, a literal you know, sentence. You said, know what they said? They said, you were a mere man. Hold on. This, this right here coming. You see this? But, but someone called the police on me for having the speaker on, but no one's calling the police about that. It's funny, yeah. isn't it? It's a bias there. It's a selective. Yeah, it's, selective. it's like we're cool with the people running around in motorcycles anyway. Let me get on the subject. Brother, it seems like you're saying that uh, God can't come in the flesh. Is that what you're saying, brother? 100%. You're to me, to me, yeah, yeah it's impossible. It doesn't make so, sense. Um, all the Jewish prophets affirm that. That have God you, come in the flesh? Read, yeah, have you read the Jewish prophets? No, Because not. saying that you read Muhammad, and then Muhammad saying that he read the prophets, but he doesn't agree with the prophets. For example, Ishmael is not the promised child, it's Isaac. It's common sense. Okay. Now, 
Oh, sorry. Hold on. So really quick, there's a whole bunch of verses in the Bible that make it clear that Jesus or Messiah who's going to come is going to be God in the flesh. And the reason being is because when we got kicked out of the Garden of, uh, of Eden, mm -hmm. there was a problem. There was a legal problem. And the legal problem is that when we got kicked out, we were out of fellowship. Okay. Now this God, the God of the, the Bible, is not, uh, he's not like any other God. He's holy. So he has to do something legally for him to enter into a place that he's forbidden because of disobedience. So our Whoa. disobedience kicks us out of the presence of God. When our obedience brings us into the presence of God. But now the problem is, is that none of us have been obedient to the extent that God needs us to. Okay. Now, who else can satisfy God's righteous demands except for God himself? So the whole point is, the Bible says that you have yeah, a Yeah, just let you guys know that. Soul, um, I mean, you have a, a body. Romans were passing through the and come back. Yeah. And God also is like that because we're in his image. So we are we have a body, a soul, and a spirit and four two we're Robert. In, in, we're in his image. Four one we're Robert. All in his image. Times. Does that mean that we, we just look like him? Um that there's qualities about us that are reflected um, in our lives. Okay. That um that initially come from him yeah. and is the goodness of his reflection. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is the mm -hmm. book of Daniel, for example says Messiah is going to come but that okay. he's going to be in flesh and that he's going to die book of Daniel I'm not, I'm not I mean who, who was it written by? Daniel is a prophet okay it was it was so he's yes. by a prophet right? he didn't even touch yes. on uh, Isaiah okay. 53 yeah Isaiah 53 has a passage it says that that he was cut off for, for the transgression of my people was he cut off and a lot of people say when Messiah comes not going to die he's just going to be a conquering king he's just going to dominate dominate okay. but the problem is is that he's done that in israel's past and what they've kept doing was um when he came through for them they stopped uh, obeying god and then they kept going back to the idols and they kept doing all this other stuff so he needed to do something that would end that so he says a new covenant um i'm gonna do he says i'm gonna put my spirit within you now if a person has a problem believing that God's Spirit can dwell in you, then you should also be offended that God's Spirit once dwelled in a temple. But I'm not offended about a temple, and I'm not offended about me being a temple. But I'm saying that God is holy, and we need to be holy to, to be inhabited by Him. We are not one with God in the sense that we are God. God is outside of the universe, mm -hmm. and He creates the universe through His mouth through his speech, which is his, when he speaks things into existence, it comes into it existence. It becomes into existence. We believe in that as well. Well, the DNA is instructions, and the word Torah is instructions. Okay. And DNA is instructions for the physical, for the one-dimensional being is a manifestation of that three, so a three-dimensional, one-dimensional version of the data. <laughs> So okay. that's what we are, and uh, a lot of people dealing with problems and stuff, they're probably dealing with a problem with their DNA and stuff like that. So um, one of the things that happened was is that uh, throughout the world, um, we thought that everything is um, it, it's pagan if, uh, if God has flesh or this, this, and that, and this is called Gnosticism. And this is something that the church has dealt with once Jesus came on, on the, the scene. So what they try to do was get it so that instead of we talking about Jesus coming as God come in the flesh to die for our sins because that's how the, the blood has to be shed for sins. That's why you see the, the magicians and all this other stuff that either, you know, cutting an animal or something. That's just it has to do with that. But my point to you is that it's not going to be something that's miraculous, that that's like uh, really amazing and stuff like that. He uses the foolishness of the world to confound the wise. And the reason being is if someone can come at and approach God by wisdom or by birth, like let's say, oh, I'm a Jew, so I'm circumcised and I'm boasting about my flesh. And it's like, well, but what does that have to do with the righteousness of the heart? What happens to the circumcision of the heart? Agree. Yeah, and so ultimately we're just trying to have communication and fellowship with this holy God. Now him coming in the flesh is not a sin, but when men in general 
who are not prophesied about as being Messiah are coming and saying, look, I'm a God. Like the New Age spirituality and all this other stuff. That's a sin. That's, that's wrong. Because there's no prophecies about me coming in. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's yeah. no prophecies about me. But also at the same time, when Jesus comes, he doesn't come in a way where he's trying to dominate everybody. He's coming by making the kingdom of God come first in people's hearts. Amen. So he has to, the king has to first dominate the beings before he can dominate the world scene. He requires that we comply with him, that we covenant with him, or come in agreement, which means that we need two different parties. Two different parties come in agreement. And the only way that can happen is if we choose by our free will to follow him. Now I was gonna tell you it's my information right here. There's a there's a there's another book that Muslims and Christians have not looked at yet. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Book of First Adam and Eve. And in that book, the language that Paul uses in all his letters is there. And um, the, the concept of God coming in the flesh is obvious in that book. And it comes up many times. What was the name of the book again? But what, but what, it's called what, the book why is this book of reference? Well, first off, the devil had to hide his existence, yes. his plans, his yep. schemes, and the fallen angels and their plans and their schemes. Fallen angels? Yes. So, in order for them to hide their beliefs about what they really believe in, they had to hide a couple of books. Mm -hmm. So, the book of Enoch is one of them. The That's right. The book of Jasher is one of them. That's right. And the book of Jasher talks about the story of a whole bunch of people who are, back in the old days, who are not in the same God bless you. God bless you, ma'am. Right and they had uh, an angelic rebellion. And when they came down... It's about Jesus. They, they came down and they tried to um, have intercourse with women. And so when they try to have intercourse with women and do all this stuff, God is like... Angels? Yes. Yes. But, but let me ask you this, though. Why were angels created? What was the purpose for creation it by God? It seems that angels each have their own jobs. Like... Uh, one is for virtue, one is for this, one is for that. Um, let's say do they have free will? Yes. Do have yes, they do. Will? Yeah. But okay. let's say me and you, we're running and we're faithful to God. And me and you, we slip and we trip and fall off a cliff. In the, in the very second of our speech, mm -hmm. there's angels that are ready to throw down and to get down for both of us. But don't you think that... So there's angels, another example of uh, what happened with Daniel. He was praying the 21 days and... And he was like, why, why, why did you take so long? He was like, well, I had to fight. I had to fight. Yeah. But don't you think that if angels have free will, would it be, would it be chaos just like there is on earth? Well, chaos on earth, in the skies, okay, chaos so all around us. See, they have happen. free will. Yes. Because we happen. have free will. It it's chaos on earth, on earth. Yes. We don't believe as Muslims that angels have free will. Well, so here's the thing. Well, that knowledge came from man. Uh -huh. That information came from man. We see, from God. What we see right now is the dominion of fallen angels. Okay? okay, number one, what did they just force everyone to do? Okay, Denise, they got everyone with a mask. That's called Jainism. If you know religions, then you know that the mask is 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 Jainism. But also in Islam, with that. but in Islam, the woman also wears yeah, a mask the, as the, a the, sign the, of the their, their, their the obedience. Yeah, yeah. So we, as a society, are like a whole bunch of Muslim women. <laughs> you see what I'm right. saying? Right. It's so ironical, especially keep, in Europe. I keep that between yep. me and you, yeah. but yeah, that's yeah. really what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So, but everyone is getting injected. So the Bible says that the fallen angels, when they came, they taught sorcery, which is called pharmacy. Yeah, and, back and in the Babylon in ancient times. That's ancient uh, yeah. word for pharmacy. Yeah. But the word pharmacy is not good. It's not pharmacia. Yeah, so pharmacia yeah. is not meant oh, to yeah? heal. Yes. Pharmacia is actually That's some good witchcraft. Meant to poison. Never heard that. That's some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's only meant to poison. Thank the Lord you stopped today. And yeah, I mean, I, I gotta get going because uh, like, I haven't eaten, I gotta shower and stuff. Let me just share a little word yeah, from the Lord. But you, you, that was some really inf informational stuff. I appreciate it, man. You know. They tried to stone him after he said, I and the Father are one. He said, You are a mere man, claim to be God. So you asked me, where did the, Jew, the Jew, Jewish people, the right? Jewish people yeah. heard what Jesus said? He said, I and the Father, I had to write all this information down. Mm -hmm. I and the Father are one. They said, you, they tried to stone him. Why would they stone him? They said, you, a mere man, claim to be God. 
John 10 verse 33, the Jews understood exactly that Jesus was claiming deity when Jesus declared, I and the Father are one. He was saying that he and the Father are of one nature in essence. John 58, I mean, excuse me, John 8, 58, for another example, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was born, I am. You know Moses, right? Yes. Moses spoke to the burning bush. He said, spoke to God, yeah, directly. He said, who shall I say who sent me? He said, I am that I am that sent you. So here Jesus is saying the same thing, I am. In fact, uh, John, but that was uh, reported. Fourteen six. That was reported. That was that wasn't like. So Jesus did not write the Bible. Uh, it, no, 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 this no. This was reported. The Holy Spirit inspired these men to write what they heard God say. They didn't write okay. like, "Oh, I'm just going to write this and no, write of that." Not. They because didn't go like they're that recalling. Back in the days. Yeah. yeah, they're recalling things. Yeah, they're recalling things that only God would know. Okay. So he says, this is a oh, reference really back got, to Exodus really go chapter home, 3, man. verse 14. Hold on, let me just say one thing. Okay. One, one minute, one minute. Okay. This is a reference back to Exodus 3 and 14 when God revealed himself that I am. The Jews who heard this statement responded by taking up stones to kill him for blasphemy as the Mosaic law commanded in Leviticus 24, verse 16. Would you like some more of this information? I can email it to you. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. All right. So my information is right there. I can send you everything about who Jesus really is, concurring to what he's saying as well. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's all about it's, the study. It's not what you think. Like, for example, in the. Jewish I mean, what I think. What I think is that that uh, I mean, we respect. I mean, you cannot be Muslim if you don't acknowledge the Bible as a holy book. You cannot be Muslim if you don't recognize Jesus as a. As as a, as a prophet and somebody very important in, in Islam, so you know I'm not I'm not uh, quite confused about you know uh, Jesus' role and, and what he did. I, to be honest, I think I think it, it, you know Christianity is, is quite confusing with the different prophets and the different revelations. Uh, I believe that Islam is more straight to the point, straightforward. is is clearer in a lot of ways. Um, there's no there's no older version or newer version. We have one clear Quran, one clear message. There is um, a big difference, though. So, I mean, I mean, there's a big difference I, because we don't believe say. that Jesus is God. To, to us, honestly, how can you know? I understand what you said, but how can how can you be a God and get crucified? How can you be a God and have human needs? You know, uh, doesn't add up because the God, the God, God, the God created the universe. God created the earth. Well, if you read that first book, which is literally Adam is the first prophet. And he okay, gets, okay, he gets the sure. first revelation, the first prophecy of Messiah coming. And Messiah cannot be what we say it is. It can't be what Muhammad says it is. Messiah is what Jewish prophets say he is. And whatever he says he is going to be and what he's going to be when he comes or what he's going to do is his business. We can't go and certain judge things, God. I mean, certain things that I can't, I can't agree, but I'm not here to debate, but to me, I mean, according to what I learned and what I what I what I found out, and and listening to you know people who studied you know Islam in, in Medina, you know certain things to me make more sense than than other things that I might hear. Now I'm not, you know, I'm not here to 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 like I said, I just wanted to hear what he had to say. I'm not here to impose my views or anything. To me, certain things just don't make sense. No matter how you put it, it sounds good, but it doesn't make sense to me. So, what do, what do you want from God? I gotta go, man. You know, no, it's I, know, just a I know, I know, but listen. What do you I know, I know you, you're out here doing your work, and I respect it. No, I know you. But you my time also, I have to respect my time. And I, 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 I promise I, you, I will really not, res go. I will not respond to you after yeah, this question. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you want from God? That's it. I want guidance and blessings in this life and the, the afterlife. You know, but I want guidance mostly. I want wisdom. You know, and I want to. I want to. I just want to be a, a, a better person, you know, and I want, I want to submit, you know, Islam is submission, so I want to submit to his commands, you know, but... But no is matter, that self-righteousness? No, 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 but look, no, no matter what it is, before being a Muslim, I'm a man, I'm a human being. So, Muslim is the faith that I follow, and he, and he guides me in my life, but I'm, I'm a human being. So, the thing is, is like, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not against what you believe, 
because we we are men first you know and then you know we we we, we believe we believe in what we believe in so what you believe in is not less than what i believe in you know i just it just helps me in my life i believe that religion is a is a personal relationship with god but it's not something that should be used as as a weapon or something that should be used as a as a you know uh maybe be belittling somebody it's just it's just your personal relationship with god when you pray you pray by yourself when you die you i mean you will be by yourself so you know to me it's, it's more of a personal what's, thing what's your email because i know you gotta go yeah amen so, Amen. Yeah, shoot me an email and I'll, I'll look at because okay. I'm always open Amen. to hearing different things. You know, I have my beliefs, but I listen and I, I speak to people. So one more set. I'll this brother is going to email you. Yeah. The spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, meaning that if a prophet comes and speaks something, you got to come in agreement with the last one. Okay. So you By, know the sequential of course, order of, of the course, first ones of course, before. Of course. Yeah. By what he said, I know that he knows God. So I agree with what he is saying. Yeah. So I know that he is of God because he can only speak what he has said coming from the mouth of God. So okay. rather not confuse you, I'm going to let him email you. I'm going to take a and step back. Stay in contact with him. Yeah. So I'm not going to confuse you. I'm not going to message you. Don't message me. Talk to him. So that way it's just one person. And there you okay, go. So, okay. You know, I'm not gonna come to you know an event in church and all that stuff. But oh no, no. you know we could you know communicate via email and you. you Listen, see. what we do is we plant seeds of the truth, and God does the watering. I don't believe that Christianity is the truth. I never will. Honestly. No, no, no. Be careful because Jesus I can say that something. Some truth to it, but it's not the truth. Jesus can say something and it can convince you. I I was the thinking possible. the same way, brother. Impossible. Just take your I'm, time. I'm, Just I'm, take your time. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a firm believer in Islam, and it's, it's the way I want to die as a Muslim. And there's no, there's nothing that's gonna uh, take me out of that. Now I'm open, like I said, I'm open to ideas and hearing other people. I'm a man first. Here, you know what I'm saying? So it's no need for me to. I, I, I don't carry carry a, a shield that says, "Hey, I'm Muslim. Don't talk to me about anything else. I'm a human being. I'm a man. I'm listening to other things. But I will die as a Muslim, God willing." You know, on yeah. that note, yeah. God yeah, bless you. What's your name? God bless you. Bo, Boka. Boka. Yeah. Yokus. I'm Yokus. I'm Yokus. Yokus? Yes, Yokus. Boka. Boka. B O K A R D at hotmail.com. But my name is Boka. B O K A R. Yeah. Like a car, Boka. The only thing Bo I want to send you is uh, Miguel. Miguel. Well, you yeah, call gotcha. me Michael. Like the Michael. angel that yes. stomped out the devil. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure to do that in my life. Um, I, I wish you that, brother. I wish you. I wish you many blessings on your on your journey. So, last thing I want to tell you is yeah. that the only thing I want to do is send to you those books that are the first books of the Bible that okay. not even Jews have in their scriptures. I look into it yeah. and I read this too. And, and um. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll see what he says and, and, and do my own research. I mean, just look around and ask to ask other people also about information that I get. And then maybe because I always want to learn. So it's good. I want you to understand that us talking to you, we're not trying to steal you away from Islam. We just want not, you to know who Jesus I'm not, is. I'm not afraid because I'm very firm on my beliefs. Okay. I'm not a young kid. I mean, I'm, I'll am i be 43 this summer. I've been through life. You know, yeah. The reason why I practice Islam is because I witnessed some things in my life. I didn't practice before. I had tattoos and stuff. I used to drink and go out yes. and be with other women, you know, but uh, I practice my religion now and it helps me in my life. So I'm not afraid about anybody talking to me, trying to steal me away from anything. I'm just open to ideas. Yeah, we just I want you to know who Jesus because is. Because it's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful message. That's why Amen. I stopped. Amen. It's about religion. If I didn't believe in God, I would have brushed, just brushed it off. Yeah. You know, it's like so, so many it did to me earlier. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you're going to deal with that dealing yeah. with people. Well, yes. You know, at the end of the day, you stick to your journey. And, uh, you know, I'm always open to hearing different things. So Amen. I appreciate the talk. God bless you. We're, we're, we're drawn together because we care about truth. That's yes. What, that's what it is. Yes. yes. And let that, let that continue to uh, draw us together. hundred percent. Yeah. You guys stay blessed. Yeah. Thank you. Later. Thank you, brother. Um, I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus that the Lord speak to you and give you the words to say to him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Man, brother, like... 
Thank you. If you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.